everyone if you see here what we discuss in our previous class stp we have stp here stp is running that's why he block one interface which is creating the loop in the network so now this is okay it is clear what we are going to learn here we are going to learn r stp rapid spanning tree how we can enable that one and we will check before stp that is before r stp how much time it is taking and after rstp how much time it is going to take so example if you see here i can uh, take this cutter the above link is working good the link is good and it is in green but if you see the below link is having the one interface block so when i disconnected the above link because we are connected the two link for redundancy purpose above link is working perfectly the below link is waiting for above link to have some issue so below link can start working so now i am uh, i am creating some issue to the above link i am connect disconnecting when i disconnected the above link see how much time it is taking it will take 50 second if you remember 30 to 50 second as we told so it is going to take the 50 second because this port is in the block so he is going to take the 20 second then for listening and learning they are going to take 15 15 second so total 50 second they are going to take after that this port will start working okay if you see it is taking still it is not working it is taking time so what we have here we have the delay now it become green so to remove this types of delay what we will do we will configure the rstp so how we can do you can go to the switch cli of the switch i will go to the cli of this switch okay let me make this topology here so you can see topology and here we can take the cli of that one so here if you see i will go to the switch how we can enable the rstp we need to check first of all i will show you currently which stp version is working here if you write do show spanning tree and summary you can see that one when i write do show spanning tree summary you can see pvst mode is enable now currently what mode we have currently we have the mode pvst now what i am going to do i am going to enable the rstp how we can enable we will write spanning tree vlan 1 press the question 1 spanning tree put the question mark you can see we have the mode and which mode you want to enable you want to enable the rapid pvst so just write this command when you write this command rapid pvst is going to enable here in this switch now i will go to the another switch i am going to enable in this switch also what i am going to do i am going to first of all let me show you currently in this switch which version of stp is working so when i write here show spanning tree summary if i write here summary you can see this is a pvst mode okay this is a pvst mode we can say this is a pvst mode so now what i will do i will go to the global configuration mode i will write spanning tree mode and which mode you want you need rapid pvst right so you will write rapid pvst and press enter now if you want to check you can write do show spanning tree summary and you can see we enable the rapid pvst mode so now rapid pvst mode is enabled in this switch and what we will do here if you see the below link is working here okay the below link is working here above link is having one port block so now if i disconnect the below link see here how much time this port is taking to start working because now we enable the rstp so it will start immediately it will take less than 10 second in the stp it is taking 30 to 50 second but in the rstp they are going to take less than 10 second so this is a below link i am going to disconnect that one and try to observe this port this uh, ambert color try to observe here when i disconnect here immediately it become green okay immediately it become green so it is not taking that much time so when you enable the rstp we have the fast conversion okay compared to the stp rstp is having the fast conversion because here they are not doing the blocking they are doing only learning and forwarding learning and forwarding that's why it is working fast and if you want to check again i will show you how we can check which mode is enable in the switch you can write show spanning tree summary with this command you can check which mode is enable in the switch so i hope it is clear for you in case if you face any issue whatsapp us try to join our telegram channel in that one we are going to share more configuration okay face issue no problem you can write here in the chat window or whatsapp us our team is going to support you you can do this lab in the gns3 in the evng 
or you can do in the packet tracer if your ram is low you can use the packet tracer but later try to start using the evng sometimes gns3 is giving the problem so better use the habit of using packet tracer and the evng okay so use packet tracer and evng okay i hope clear it is clear so in case if you face any issue whatsapp us thank you 